Uh, well, welcome. This is our um, Cohort 8 capstone. We're pleased to see everybody here. I'd like to say a special welcome to family, friends, uh, relatives of whatever kind, maybe even uh, an employee, possibly. And a special welcome to our newest cohort that's here to observe and figure out what it is they're supposed to aim for at the end. Um, most of you, well obviously the students know what a capstone is all about, but for those of you that are not familiar with it, except to note that your significant other or relative has been out of contact or unapproachable for the last 16 months, this is the culmination of all that they have learned during their period in this program, and that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a reflection of what they have learned and what they've put together and been able to produce as a result of all of that. So that's what you're going to be observing. Um, well, I'm Dr. Rosalie Strong, and I've had the distinct pleasure of being an advisor for a couple of the uh, capstone folks here today. And that's all been in conjunction with Dr. Boone Sue's capstone class. And of course, the other capstone advisors that have participated have been Dr. Nancy Lockwood and um, Dr. Eric Tao. And I believe that's Oh, yes, I am trying to see you. Okay, great, thank you. So uh, the other thing most of you probably already know, those of you that are connected some way to one of these students, is that this is an accelerated program for 16 months. And we ask people who are fully employed, generally, to go to work, do their job, go home, have a family, but in the meantime, put forth their largest, greatest effort to completing their coursework. And we don't make it easy, right? But that's the challenge. And every student here that's graduating today, fulfilling their capstone, has exhibited an effort that goes above and beyond. Uh, all of us as faculty are quite proud to have been a part of it. Uh, this is just, not only is this a culmination for all the students, it's a, it's a real coming together for the faculty. We've helped them throughout and been their support or whatever we've been able to do for them throughout this entire program. So um, we're really pleased with that. Today we have 10 projects covering a wide range of topics, interactive language learning modules, school safety and preparedness, online course development, human rights, <coughs> research studies, diverse contexts including K-12 schools, industry, military, higher ed, healthcare, and many more, some that I haven't mentioned. But before we start the presentations, I would like to do a couple of introductions. First, I'd like to introduce Dr. Boot Sue. And Dr. Nancy Lockwood. And, way back. and most of you probably know students anyway by now that uh, Dr. Lockwood lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So uh, she really made an effort to get here, always does. Dr. Eric Tao. Technology and Communication Design. 
So our programs are designed not only to provide the education, our programs are designed to provide a force to change the status quo. So the MIST program, the Instructional Science and Technology, is to change education and teaching, or to infuse technology into the classroom, into the online learning. And the evidence of that force to change the society is often the capsule. The capsule carry not only the, the capsule of the learning, also it's a, a evidence that the program is designed to change the world. So you'll see many, many projects, probably all of them, not only explore theory limit, but also find a problem to solve, actually have a student in it, actually have people impact by the result of their product, their idea. So that is the, the essence, is why we spend so much time when students come to our program day one, they might not know anything about the program they know, they should start thinking about capstone. So thank you for coming to enjoy, and also make the, the event more energy, also even scarier for our students. <laughs> and 10 years from now, they probably won't remember the learning theory, the instructional science, the, the instructional technology, the, the, the other type of classes. They all remember the capstone and the capstone presentation because it is that scary, that hard, and because you are here. So welcome to campus. Enjoy today's show. First thing, if you have a cell phone, would you please put it on vibrate or something quiet so it doesn't disrupt us? I was gently reminded by one of my colleagues about mine. Um, and then the, the format is this way. Each candidate will come up, they have a total of eight minutes, but of that eight minutes, six minutes is for their presentation, and then the final two minutes are for questions. So we would anticipate that you focus, give them all your attention, and then think about the questions you might have for them about their uh, fabulous capstone. Uh, I would ask that you hold and withhold any questions or responses until they've completed that six minutes. Okay, so you can just jot down your thoughts if you need to. All right, very good. Okay, our very first candidate is uh, Brandon Swift, and his topic is school safety and preparedness, earthquake, fire, and lockdown. 